Okay, next setup. Magnet. I'm gonna show how I set them up together. Turn on one coil. No signal, no pulses. Not no humming. Minimal resistance. But watch the lamp when I kick the when I hit it. Watch it. It triggers. Good. Maximum resistance. Again. Nothing. But if I disconnect the lamp and hit again. Signal. Hummy. Locked on itself. Reduce resistance. Reduce amperage. Increase amperage. Much more resistance. Least current. High frequency humming. No good. Turn off the system. Turn on the second coil. Same thing. Pulsating. Disconnect the lamp. Minimal resistance. Mass more resistance. Kicking. Watch. Self. Some current. Signal. Reduce the resistance. More current. Lower honey. So you're increasing, decreasing the resistance. So the thing is, lowest resistance, both. Turn on, turn off, turn on, turn off, no signal. Now, I'm going to put one on the top of the other, directly. Turn on the systems. Look what happened. Instantaneous, I have a signal. But interesting enough, it's not a signal, some amperage, 16 and 30, but it's not a signal locked. I can increase now one pot resistance. Amperage should go down. 32, 19. See how the second coil signal follows as I increase the resistance? I'm going to stop this part, go to the second coil, increase the, re the resistance, current goes down, signal follows. Up and down, up and down. Watch the output current. Up, down. Up resistance, down. Look how both change. I'm gonna go to the second part, the other SSCG, the same thing, up, resistance, down. So how they watch change together. So what I do, exactly the same process, I go up and down the, the volumes, uh, the values, until I have the, the current that I want there, 100 milliamps, 50 milliamps here on both, and a no duplication signals like this one. So I, I increase too much the resistance, come back a little bit until the two double signals disappear and increase the second part now until the double signal shows up just like I did before pretty good 0, 06 and 12 let's balance the other part now a little bit so one current goes up the other one goes down so I keep playing with this until all the numbers are what I want and the final line is going to be pretty much about 11 signals here, 11 pulses at whatever division, point five, and you have to play long enough with that, watching the two numbers, to the lowest that I have here, the lowest that I have over there, the beautiful signal without duplicating, beautiful humming. Simple as that.